I got like as much medicine as I could possibly get. Also a test kit and aquarium salt. I don't want to overdose this tank or anything, so I'm literally just gonna. I'm gonna do it first. I'm gonna do a test because today's the water change day, anyways. So I'm just gonna test it, see how big of a water change I should do. First off, I think I actually forgot to mention this. Why I know it's internal parasites is because yesterday I saw white stringy poop coming out of thump, and I looked it up immediately, and it said internal parasites. You need Pima Mix or whatever it's called, Melafix and P Pima Fix. I had this little setup just has maybe it was a better thumbnail. I don't know, but. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna move all this stuff now so we can actually read what the test says. Pretty sure everything's good. Maybe I just have to, oh shoot, yeah, I have to do water chain. <laughs> About 7.2, 7.6. Ammonia is at zero to 0.25, so that's pretty good. Is at zero. Uh, nitrate is really high, so that just means all I have to do is a water change and it should go right back down. So I saw I'm literally a genius. It just drained it straight off my roof. These and then one more tablespoon, and that is 25 tablespoons of aquarium salt. So yeah, <laughs> I need to open this real quick. Pour some of this in. So basically this is gonna put electrolytes in the tank. It kind of just help with overall tank issues. This is kind of like that natural way where it's like literally just kind of like fixes everything. Like you put some of this in, it kind of just fixes all your problems. So. Hopefully this will do the trick. And if the fish eat this, they should be okay. It's literally just, so basically what this is, is this is like evaporated seawater. It's not actually the same salt as marine salt. All right. That's about half a cup. Boom, look at all that salt, guys. And I still have to do one more tablespoon. Yeah. All right, here we go. Woo! Milliliters and then a little bit more than that. Oh, I just spilled. I'm spilling a bunch. My bad. It's kind of hard to do this all with one. The good thing is this stuff is clear. The ick stuff is actually not clear, and it makes everything messy. See milliliters of that stuff in here. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe all this up. The fix. All right, so there's ten. Sixty. All right. This may look like a lot of medicine I'm adding, which it is, but you gotta remember this is a 135 gallon fish tank. And hopefully we can get Thump back to health, and all the other fish probably have been infected with it too. I mean, if Thump is getting hit, these guys should all be dead. I don't know how they're not. That white stringy poop. That means intestinal disease or parasites. So every time. I tried to get him to eat. I'm going to put some of this, soak it in this garlic stuff. I'm just going to put a little bit in now just in case he drinks the water. I don't know if fish even need to drink water. I'm not really sure. Be straight garlic in water because, I mean, I wish you guys could smell it. Smell that. Smell. Oh, my. Oh, that is straight vampire. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Those guys. That's straight garlic. Oh, yeah. Basically, what you do is you just put some in here and then you put all their food in there. And then I'm going to do that, and I'm going to soak it for a little bit, and then I'm literally just going to dump it back here right where Thump is. And if he eats it, then this should treat uh, the parasites. And also, apparently garlic is really enticing for fish. General cure at PetSmart, so I told them to hold it, and we're going to pick that up right now. This only treats 100 gallons, but it's all they had left. So I just got to make the best with what we got. He also has hole in the head. So... I'm really, really upset right now, guys. But basically, this entire pack, all of these, they only treat 100 gallons. So I got to pour them all in right now. And guys, so again, this doesn't treat the full tank. And also, it's not even half of what I need. But I have to do, I have to try, dude.
everything. Internal parasites, gill, gill parasites, external parasites, literally everything. But I don't even have enough to treat my entire tank. Hopefully, hopefully this is enough. I just have to use that garlic stuff too. All right, guys. So I was researching up on hole in the head and... I mean, you can treat the symptoms, but like you really can't. There's really like once you once they get to it, there's really nothing you can do, and there's not really like a specific parasite or anything that, like, you get it. It could just be in genetics, so I might have just gotten a bad genetic Oscar, but I don't know, guys. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.